and we go, man, I, I'm sure this is kind of a dream come true type of night, right? To have yeah, the FC debut like that. How's yeah. it feel? Oh, man. Uh, you know, I'm in, I'm in my home state now, uh, my UFC debut, something I've been chasing for a while now, and to do it in Florida, to do it, you know, in front of my friends and family, I, it's the best feeling in the world. I, I mean, I couldn't ask for anything more, so thanks to the UFC, thanks to Dana White's the tennis series, thanks to Dana White. I'm glad, I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, did you think the fight would play out like that? We kind of planned for everything, you know, we had different answers for different things, so um, this is just kind of the beginning of the game. And uh, it just worked really well, and we just kept going. So, and then uh, my coach would tell me, "Keep going to the calf kick." He's feeling it already. They kept telling me through the first round, "He's feeling it. Keep going to the calf kick." And uh, when we came out of the second, you know, I, I saw that he was a little slow on it. So I was like, "All right, let me, you know, kind of pick and choose when I threw it." But I picked it up a little more in the second, and was able to chop him down. You know, there's only a handful of guys who've like finished a fight with the light kick in yeah. UFC history. I mean, uh, d does it surprise I'm you? I'm in the record books now, man. No matter what happens from now on, bro, it's, that's it. You know, exactly. my name's in the record books. <laughs> but does it surprise you at all that he did go down? I know you said that you thought he was slowing, but to actually drop him and basically, you know, you finish know, I, the fight that way. Oh, that is a tough guy, man. I've seen his fights. He's, you know, I, I didn't expect it to like, I didn't expect him to go down. You know, I, I thought he'd be, in, you know, being there all night and, you know, just. Again, it kind of just uh, worked out great, and uh, we've been drilling that, I don't know, forever, and just everything played out, you know, in my favor. Is it satisfying to, you know, finish a fight like that with an oblique kick? Because it's, you know, as you said, like it's... that That's, you know what's satisfying about it? That I did it for one of my coaches, because, you know, a lot of credit goes to, uh, like, you know, the, pop, the, the, the calf kick is getting, like, popular now. Yeah. But uh, in, if you, you know, anybody knows about South Florida MMA, that uh, my coach was one of the first guys to ever even introduce it, and my team's been throwing it for years. So when we started, when uh, when guys were throwing it, they were like, "Oh, they're starting to, you know, they're starting to use it," and it became real popular. And ended up everybody's saying like, "Oh, this person did it for this." Yeah. Nah, man, we've been doing that way before anybody even decided to throw that. You know, did, so that's yeah. this is for my coach Cesar. Did your coach Carrera. say anything? Huh? Did your coach say anything? Uh, yeah, say yeah. Anything? <laughs> <laughs> we had a good discussion about it after, you know, and this is kind of, you know. For Cesar and uh, for all those guys in Brazil and everything like that, so that's a you know it's a good win for them and, if, and for me. Yeah. Was the walkout song a nod to the Tampa Bay Lightning? Uh, no, that's, a, hey, you know what? It worked out that way. Yeah. Uh, but my name's came out Thunder, and I was like, all right, and you know, Thunderstruck. There it is. Where'd you get that nickname? I was wondering about. Oh that. man, all right, how much some of you guys have? <laughs> hey, we got so, few. So, um, you know, as an amateur. I was gonna make a, a male stripper joke because the whole uh, who was it that said it? Michelle Waterson was saying it sounds like a stripper. Right. I did not strip. I want that to be out there. That wasn't a thing. That's you know, it's a it's a terrible rumor she started. No, uh, um, it started when I was a uh, an amateur. I didn't have a nickname. I was just kind of you know fighting. And uh, one of my fights, I think my fourth or fifth fight uh, in the amateur circuit, uh, the guy asked me one of the announcers asked me, so what's your nickname? They threw out really dumb nicknames, like, you know, ones that just did not stick at all. And uh, I said, I got no nickname. I went back to the, you know, backstage, warmed up, got, uh, got the, you know, got ready for the fight. I walk out, they start introducing me as Miguel. At first I didn't hear it. It kind of came out a little muttered in my ear because I wasn't expecting it. Miguel, uh, Thunder Baeza. And I kind of looked at my coach, I'm like, what did they just, what did they just call me? <laughs> and I'm like, whatever, whatever, you know, I fight. And then I win and then they raise my hand and then they say it again, Miguel. Caramel Thunder Baeza. And I'm like, did they just call me Caramel Thunder? And I looked at my coaches, uh, my my coach Caesar Serhe was there. And I looked at him, I'm like, hey Caesar, is that what uh, they called me, Caramel Thunder? He's like, I don't know. I don't know where, like, where'd that come from? He, he literally just gave me one of these. And uh, the crowd was chanting Caramel Thunder after the fight. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, when I won and uh, after that, everybody thought it was so funny that it just kind of stuck. Like, And then e e even though like I didn't want it, they thought it was even funnier that I didn't want it, so it just became Camel Thunder. I embraced it, and now I'm Camel Thunder. Yeah, that's great. Um, what What do you think is next for you after a win like this? Whatever the UFC you know brings, I just got to keep getting better. That's my whole thing. I just want to, uh, you know, being number one is the, the goal. So that's it. Whatever, whatever, whatever it takes, yes, sir. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.